tears in a Hamilton courtroom today as a forensic pathologist spoke about the stab wound that killed 16-year-old Mark Bisto Young. The teenager was at a family birthday party when his older cousin stabbed him to death. As Kelly Botello tells us, the pathologist testified that it would take seconds, maybe minutes, for death to occur based on that fatal wound. 16-year-old Mark Bistoyoung was sitting in the dining room of his uncle's home on the Hamilton Mountain last year when his cousin, Loriano Bistoyoung, took a kitchen knife and plunged it into the teenager's chest. The knife went in 16 centimeters deep and into the boy's lung, the court heard today. The Crown called its final witness this morning, forensic pathologist Daniel Schmick, who testified that it would take seconds to minutes to die from a wound like that. The victim's family and friends cried in the courtroom listening to the testimony. There's no dispute that Loriano killed Mark that night. The 22-year-old charged with second-degree murder. But the defense says the accused wanted to plead guilty to the lesser charge of manslaughter. A group of cousins who were at the party the night of the stabbing played basketball together before the violent incident, a game that several witnesses say was rough. During the game, witnesses testified that Mark pushed Loriano into a fence, but that everyone was pushing and shoving. During cross-examination today here at John Sapinka Courthouse, the defense attorney, Jamie Stevenson, emphasized that the stab wound was on the left side of the body, near the victim's armpit not in the middle of the chest where the heart is. The forensic pathologist agreed, but said the outsides of the torso also house major arteries and of course the lungs. The Crown's case is now complete. The defense's case begins tomorrow in this trial by judge. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.